video. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new Amazon service that is Amazon Code Whisperer. Amazon Code Whisperer is an AI coding assistant of a developer which generates real-time single line or full function code suggestions in your integrated development environment, which will help you to quickly build softwares. Amazon Code Whisperer generates the code suggestions automatically based on the existing code and the comments that you have within your IDE. It also enables the developers to accelerate software development by providing code suggestions and it results in a reduction of the total development effort which allows you more time to focus on other complex problem solving tasks. Amazon Code Whisperer comes with a number of features. Of course, the first one is the real-time code generation and suggestions based on the context of the surrounding code and comments that you have within your IDE. It can also generate the code snippet based on the comments like uh, for example when you type a comment like this quote a function name process underscore csv to extract the date of birth field and return it as a list unquote. So when you type in this command it will suggest a function that fulfills the said task and you can accept or reject that particular suggestion. Now the generated code will be similar to how you would write code and it will basically match your style and naming conventions. In addition to general purpose uh, code suggestions, Code Whisperer is additionally trained to become more efficient in suggesting code snippets with respect to the AWS services. And basically the suggestions specific to AWS services are optimized for AWS APIs, including Amazon EC2, AWS Lambda and Amazon S3. Amazon Code Whisperer also provides the feature to scan the code for security issues and also provides suggestions on how to fix it. Currently, the code scan feature for security issues is limited to Python, Java and JavaScript. The another feature that it has is the reference tracker for open source code. It's a feature that detects if the suggested code by Code Whisperer is similar to the Code Whisperer open source training data. In that case, the reference tracker will flag such suggestions with the open source project repository URL and its license. All the references will be logged to be reviewed later and then you can make the informed decision if you want to use that particular snippet or suggestions in your project or not. So these are a few of the features that uh, I wanted to highlight as a part of the Amazon Code Whisperer. Now, apart from these features, Code Whisperer can also filter out code suggestions that include toxic phrases and suggestions that might be considered biased or unfair. Code Whisperer supports code suggestions for 15 programming languages, which are mentioned below. Here, Python, Java, C Sharp, TypeScript, and JavaScript are the programming languages with the most support in terms of caliber of the training data. So these languages are basically highlighted in blue. Now let's have a look at the IDEs that Code Whisperer supports. Code Whisperer is available as a part of the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio Code and JetBrains family of IDEs. It is also available on AWS Cloud9 which is the IDE as a service offered by AWS and finally it is also available on AWS Lambda console. Now we have a fair understanding of which programming language and IDEs the Code Whisperer supports. Now let's understand how it suggests the code. Amazon Code Whisperer analyzes the comments written in English and surrounding code to understand the context and based on that it suggests the code in the editor. The developer can accept or reject the code suggestions given by the Code Whisperer. The code suggestions provided by the Code Whisperer are based on large language models which is trained on billions of lines of code including Amazon and open source repositories. Here in the first point, I had mentioned that it analyzes comments in English. So does that mean Code Whisperer only supports the English language? Let's find out. Code Whisperer is trained on different data sources, including Amazon and open source code. So there is a possibility that the training data might contain data that is not in English, but the Code Whisperer is trained and validated to generate code from the English language. However, it may suggest the code from comments that are written in non-English languages, but it may or may not be accurate. So non-English language is not a supported use case as of now. 
So in general, for quality results, comments in English are the way to go. As we saw that Amazon Code Whisperer has a lot of features, but at what price one can use it? So let's find out. Amazon Code Whisperer comes in two flavors uh, that are individual and professional. The individual tier is for individual developers or users and the professional tier is for organizations. The Code Whisperer professional tier offers administrative capabilities on top of the individual tier. As a part of the administrative capabilities, it includes organizational license management to centrally manage which developers should have access to Code Whisperer and organizational policy management to set service policies at the organizational levels. With respect to pricing, the good part is that it is free for an individual developer, whereas professional tier comes at the cost of $19 per user per month. For an individual tier, existing AWS account is not a prerequisite to use Amazon Code Whisperer. Individual developers can sign up and sign in using an email address with an AWS Builder ID, whereas under the professional tier, AWS IAM Identity Center will be used for authentication of an existing account in order to use the Amazon Code Whisperer service. As a part of the programming language supports, both the tier supports all programming languages and both the tier supports code reference tracking as well. With respect to the code security scans, the individual tier has a limit of 50 code security scans per user per month and within professional tier, the limit is 500 code security scans per user per month. As a part of the organizational license management and organizational policy management, uh, they are only supported by the professional tier. Under data collection for individual tier, it collects code snippets, comments, cursor location, contents from files which is opened in the IDE, client-side telemetry and usage metrics. Now here under individual tier, you get an option to opt out of the same. As a part of the professional tier, it collects code snippets, comments and content from the files that is open in the IDE. And all this content processed by the service under professional tier is solely to provide and maintain the service. It does not use that data to improve the service under professional tier. In the last row as a part of the private code generation, it talks about will code whisperer reproduce your private code as a part of the code suggestion for other users. For professional tier, it is clearly mentioned as a part of the documentation that it will never store or use the content to train the model. And as a result, your private code will never be reproduced for another user. However, under the individual tier, it says that it prevents the reproduction of unique private code collected from Code Whisperer individual users. Hence, it seems that Code Whisperer collects your private code under individual tier. But they are saying that the Code Whisperer is designed in such a way that it will prevent reproduction of the unique private code, but it is not guaranteed. So this was all about the Code Whisperer tiers and its pricing. In the next slide, let's try to address few questions. Which data is used for training the Code Whisperer? Well, uh, it includes open source code, Amazon code base and other data sources. Who will be the owner of the code generated by the Code Whisperer? So the developer will own the code and he or she will be responsible for everything. Can Code Whisperer generate the code that is similar to the training data? Well, it is not designed to, but in case if the generated code is similar to any of the open source code, which was the part of the training data, then the reference tracker will flag it and notify you about the same. Are there any guide to produce better results uh, while using Amazon Code Whisperer? So the answer is you should write short and task specific comments for better code suggestions. And it is recommended to use intuitive names within the code because as we know that one of the factors for uh, specific code suggestions is also based on the surrounding code and the comments. So in general, I think Amazon Code Whisperer is an amazing service, but I would definitely like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And in the next video, I will demonstrate how to set up the Code Whisperer individual tier and its features as a part of the hands-on video. I hope now you have a good understanding of Amazon Code Whisperer. 
and that was all for this video until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time